Good evening, campers, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. I'm Commander Exorcist. We're continuing our park building project. In our last episode, we got the uh, Jurassic Park tour up and running. We synthesized a few dinosaurs, filled the lagoon, and the aviary. However, I want to fix something because... I am annoyingly obsessive with things. So we're going to fix uh, the viewing platform, the dome, inside. So where did this one go? Ended up in front of the pylon. So that's cool. So let's do the same thing here. Put it roughly in the same area. Oops. I did not. Oh, you know, it would help. I guess it would help if I paid attention to that, wouldn't it? There we go. <laughs> so now the domes are still... You know what? Forget it. I'm not really going to dig into that too much. So today, what are we doing today? Well, um, we may come over and work on the park a little bit as far as... Now you can hear the T-Rex. Who's got low health? What are you missing? Oh, you know what? I'm such a terrible terrible park administrator here hold on I forgot to feed them wasn't intentional I promise I usually just kind of drop these down in here there we go dower there we go now they are feeding and I would say that everybody's happy most people are happy most of the pterodons are happy and I'm sure the fish are not too happy that they're kind of um, stuck in a box getting fed to dinosaurs. Um, let's see here. What do you guys need? You need attractions? Everybody needs attractions. Let's put some food here. Stalk, let's see. Sushi. Cheap burgers. Now who's got low health? Oh, never mind. You guys don't count. I've already fed you. <laughs> so we got a burger shack there. Just a small one. A little small one fit here. Um, no. And then we'll... Put, nope, I didn't want. Oh, I didn't pick the right button. This is going to be a drink shack. Forget boba. Gonna be sodas. Soda cans. And well, I know ground decorations, man. There we go. And then this one over here, it's kind of the same thing. It kind of looks like a water burger. Hmm. Ah, there we go. See, get it. Flame broiled burgers, cheap bur cheap burgers three. Um, what a dino burger! There we go. <laughs> oh, there is our our megalodon, the Meg, hanging out. Nice little view of him. Right, so that was one of the things. Just kind of wanted to throw something down. Uh, we may go over here and work on the park a little bit, but let's get started with today's actual project. That's going to be this, the gyrosphere enclosure. And we're going to start over here. And we're going to start...
by enclosing the gyrosphere area. So not too worried about angles and everything over here. So what this is going to be is kind of like the Jurassic Park area. Um, this is going to be a large enclosure. And we're going to divide it into multiple sections. So there'll be one section that has the gyrosphere. And then there'll be a second part that has... Um, that'll have viewing areas. Like regular dinosaur viewing areas. Actually, let's do this. There we go. That should make the, uh, the track enclosure safe. I think I want to make it a little bit more curved out. There we go. A little bit more interesting as we enter into the park. Now, in the last episode, I added all these trees. We're going to we're going to get rid of them. That's a lot of money spent on landscaping that we really don't need cuz we're going to do some very specific landscaping in this region. So, palm trees I'm not too worried about cuz that's kind of going to be the, the central tree focus in this region. But we certainly need to continue building our enclosure. Building the fence like this reminds me of Jurassic Park when they were at the beginning when he was when the lawyer Gerardo I think was his name he was going through the checklist and <laughs> trying to make sure that John had all of the uh like all of the uh, what was it like all of the fencing and I think there was like something like 50 miles of electric fence around uh the original 93 park so what we're doing here is this is the gyrosphere route. And we want to make it a little bit curvy, not too crazy. Oh, is it fog? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Not too insane. Okay. And this is where build a second Jurassic World gate. And I want to complete the fence first. Excellent. And just like the park tour, the gyrosphere gate or the gyrosphere tour will start the minute that we have it connected to everything. All right, and it is going the right way. Nice little rainstorm to be working in today here at the park. of the security areas here. Like I said, part of this is going to be enclosed for the gyrosphere and the other part I'm sure this is good. Yep. There we go. Cool. Now 
we're going to do some heavy uh, landscaping over here. Wow, it's really, it's kind of hard to work in all of this. Um, I don't want to do, let's do this real quick. Let's pause. Well, I don't want to pause. Because what's going to suck is I'm going to demolish part of this. And it resets the ride, though. So I'm going to come back inside here circle around here we go and then we're gonna take we're gonna make uh, gonna make us some water we kind of get an idea of what's going on here A few more hills to make this an interesting location. Yeah, it's kind of looking neat. And then vegetation everywhere, or at least in most places. So what are we putting here? Um, well, we got to put things that aren't going to hurt people. That's the goal. We, we don't want to purposely injure our, um, our park tourists. As funny as that can be sometimes, we don't want to do that on purpose. So we're probably going to put things like Brontosaurus, um, Triceratops, things like that in here. We have a mixture of forest and there we go. God, I love the painting. The painting on this thing is so cool. Is that another storm? Whoa, a, a storm warning. So there's a cool map of our park. So you got an idea of what's going on? There's our management views are awesome. Oh my goodness. Structure's damaged. What's going on here? Oh wow. This is our first major storm. Uh, the dome is damaged. See, I freaking knew it. I knew it. I knew avian, I knew avian dinosaurs were a bad idea. Uh, okay, where's our response center? Trying to decide if I should put it down here. Yeah, let's put it there. Okay. Let's hope we don't have any dinosaurs to escape. If any of these flying dinosaurs escape, I'm gonna be very mad. Are people just like outside? I'm 
Okay. All right, so I thought I had turned off disasters. <laughs> Apparently not. Um, so let's build a response facility. Constructed by pylon, huh? Okay. And then it's going to be outside the building area. How is it obstructed by a pylon? There's no pylon there. Okay. And then we'll just add a facility path to this one. This is not what I expected to happen. I, I honestly thought I had turned off disasters, but... Apparently that isn't the case. So let's have them go repair the Innovation Center. And it looks like our dome is repaired. We won't have any dinosaurs escaping. Now, the gyrosphere tour is up and running. We were painting. <laughs> That's what we were doing beforehand. And a few other things here. Uh, these are important because I believe that the Brachiosaurus or Brontosaurus or whatever they're called, they keep changing it. They they changed it before, and when I was a kid, it was a Brontosaurus. And then when Jurassic Park came out, suddenly it's a Brachiosaurus. It's like, just make up your mind. Um, some of this so it's not so uniform there we go very nice oh and then when you enter into the viewing area welcome to the gyrosphere tour thank you for visiting all right so our enclosure is good there. Let's go over and hatch some dinosaurs. So we're going to go with herbivores. All right, they're Brachiosauruses. And then Triceratops. They're sickly with large appetite. Oh, wow. Um, what's his problem? These are all weak. All right, so let's do three of those. And then we'll probably do two more um, Brachiosauruses in that case. Okay. Dinosaur is ready. On route to collect the asset. Heading to collect the asset. Good. So we have to wait until those assets are complete before we can go in and synthesize more of them. While we're doing that, Waiting on that to happen, let's go ahead and build the um, what we decided was going to be the raptor enclosure out here. I'm not necessarily sure I need anything larger than a four. And we're going to go with curved enclosure.
I think I got it right. If not, it's going to be close. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Back over here, and these poor I dinosaurs here kind of being cut off from everybody else. All right. So now we need groundwater. So our whoa, that's too much. The radius is huge. Decoration on the ground here. And I don't remember exactly um, what the raptor's requirements what are. What can be said about the Triceratops? This is one of those dinosaurs that really defines our business. People want to see them, and we want to share them with the world. Don't let that fearsome appearance fool you. Those horns are mostly for defense and impressing other Triceratops. This animal is an herbivore. It can be a star attraction or a security nightmare if it turns those horns on our fencing. So we've got... Nice, so that should be everybody, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and synthesize... Another bracky. And that'll give us four brachiosauruses um, in the gyrosphere enclosure. And we'll have. Oh, yeah. And once that's done, we will synthesize the next predator to be added here. Asset and that, my friends, collected. is going to be the infamous Velociraptor. En route to pick up the asset. Nice. Let's go ahead and Delivery switch that from herbivore to carnivore. There they are. One of the ultimate carnivores. Let's see how many we got. That'll do. I'm going to do all of them. Hard to believe that in 17 seconds we're going to have six well, possibly up to six Velociraptors here in our park. Asset in transit. Asset to be collected. No problem. There we go. And I'm sure we'll get an audio cue of some kind given the nature of the Velociraptor. A bit of a smoke screen here for our fencing. So that our, our tourists believe that this is the end of, of everything. But we know better. <laughs> Asset yeah. being transported. It's kind of a lie. Give them a nice, nice tropical drive through here. God, this is so good. I really want this in uh, Planet Coaster and other similar games. My luck, it's probably already there, and I just don't realize Delivery it. Delivery has been completed. Wow, you can see all of the tour 
groups. Transit has commenced. Let's turn this down. Excellent. Excellent. Look at this. Look at our brana look at our brachiosauruses and our triceratops. <laughs> Dude's getting lowered down <laughs> by a harness. Probably there's no clue what's going on. See, eventually, not right now, but eventually when we get done with things, you know, we'll go for a full ride on some of these attractions. Like the gyrosphere here. I mean, you could kind of probably do this in real life with animatronics. You wouldn't have to synthesize real dinosaurs, but it's still pretty cool. There's our, one of our triceratops behaving themselves. Does anything out here need a little more? I was looking for anything that needs a little more attention as far as drawing or trees or anything. Assets in the air. Ah, our raptors are being delivered. And knowing that we have raptors out here, Asset has been need a backup generator. And let's put a let's put a substation out here as well. I know it's the long way, but part of it is park beautification. Asset transportation complete. I'll take it all the way out here to the edge. Then we're going to go down <laughs> along the edge on the outside of the fence. Although... It is kind of strange to me that they didn't bury the pylons. Like, I mean, it's I'm sure it's easier to do maintenance on them, but in a situation like this where you're in a tropical environment that's constantly hit by storms, you really would need your pylons. You're, you're, you'd want your electrical infrastructure to go underground, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, and I did notice... So, this lagoon is fish and wildlife. Let's change that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome a velociraptor to the park. I guess I can't. Okay. That's okay. That explains the difference. So you got T-Rex roaring. You can hear him from across the park. I hate it. He does not like those cars. I've had T-Rexes in this game that seem to never pay attention to the cars, but this guy is not, not happy with the vehicles. Oh, he's going to eat. He's hungry. He just swallowed that lamb hole. Jeez. <laughs> All right. 
Cool. So we got our gyrosphere up and running. That's awesome. Let's do a little bit of decorating with it. Um, what options do we have here? Do I really want to put signs out here? No. There's already, um, there's already lights on the, uh, on there. Oh, what about a, um, what about one of those lanterns up here? Let's see, where is that thing? I don't know why, but I just kind of like that. There's a view of uh, there's a view of sunrise in our park with our operating gyrosphere activity looking good. It really is. Let's check in on our triceratops down here. I've had moments where uh, the dinosaurs either got curious about the gyrospheres or. Either they were curious about the gyrospheres or they just really like hanging out on the route. And so they would, like, especially the brachiosauruses, they would just sit down on the gyrosphere track. And so you'd have five or six <laughs> spheres Delivery that were stuck and weren't able to, um, to move or do anything until the dinosaur decided to get up and move. It was kind of fun. I think here's probably a perfect example of coming up and see if this one stays on the track or if it moves on. And I think that one's going to move on. So we got our um, gyrosphere area up and running really beautiful beautiful location and then we've got our velociraptors in their enclosure down here oh here they are here's one he uh he looks pretty mean whoa These two don't like each other. Okay. They all have their own little personalities. It's a nice view from the tour area of our Velociraptor enclosure. Transportation rating is 30%. So, okay, so there's a view of our power grid. Not too bad. I really like the maps in this game. The the map, the overlay is really freaking cool. I can just go down here and check this guy out. So we got a lot of open space here to try to do something with it. Whether that means rerouting the tour at some point to kind of snake through here. Um, I'm not really sure what we could do with it. Um, we've still got some of the classic Jurassic Park dinosaurs, like Dilophosaurus, that we could put in there. Um, also, we could put some non-carnivore, non-dangerous stuff, like um, uh, Gallimimus and a few others could go in there. So there's a couple of different options, but... and possibility as well of opening a third tour setup over here using the Jurassic World setup. So we have the Jurassic Park tour in the middle, um, kind of the classic dinosaur tour, and then you have the gyrosphere, massive 
freaking gyrosphere setup over here. And then... Uh, oh, see, here we go. <laughs> Here's what they do. They just kind of hang out. Like, they really don't care. And the gyrospheres will get stuck. So that one was stuck. Now it's uh, now it's moving again. Uh-oh. It's got low health. Hey, I've gone like hours without a snack. And I know how that makes me feel. So imagine how a dinosaur feels when it's hungry. Okay. Needs a tall nut. That we can do. That's good because we can replace some of these trees with what the, uh... there you go guys, there's you something to eat, actually I'm going to get rid of these. My worry is that they'll end up hanging out by the, uh, on the road. Yeah, he, uh, dude, we got you some food. Come on. <laughs> One of the things I like about the sandbox mode for this game is you can change it as you go along. So we can start out with almost nothing enabled as far as penalties, sickness, hunger, and over time, we can kind of enable some of those things um, to make the to, to make the experience more interesting. So there's kind of a general. Wow, we've come a lot. We've come a long way in about three or four episodes. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, one of the puts. So we've got the lagoon sign there. There's a lot of people. So we're going to put a sign for the gyrosphere here so that people know. And now... Uh-oh. Another storm brewing. Will our science center fit here? I think it would. And stuff like the science center, a lot of these things are just for, um, they're just for decoration. Like, that's really not going to do anything, but it looks nice. I wish there was some just like little flame pots or something. <laughs> some kind of some kind of fire pit. I don't think I've seen anything like that. Oh, that's not good. All places, it would cover that up. There we go. A little decoration there. It's coming along nicely. Wow, that is a lot of people.
Jeez. Okay, so you can disable the security rating. Why are you guys going to the response center? There's nothing there. That's a lot of people. I thought we put something in here. Yeah, here we go. I was gonna say I thought we put something in here. Yeah. I gotta be lonely. There's a bunch of them in there. I am noticing people are only going down one, uh, one path. You may have to look at knocking down one of those paths and fixing it. I thought that these were supposed to go together. I think that's what it was. Like, I was, trying to I was trying to remember what it looked like in the movie. But, that's okay. Control center here. There we go. Yeah, more for show than anything. What do our guests need? They need. Let's do a let's do a, a row here. So we got drink. We got food. And then gift shop. Um, no sushi. Hey, deep fried fish on the edge of the lagoon. How about that? Um... Sodas. Not really into the health food thing. And leisure wear. Awesome. Now all three of these look the same. That's boring. Let's go with Jurassic. Let's do this. Let's go with Jurassic Park thatched roofing. And then this middle one will make it different. There goes the, there we go. Yeah. I like that. Is there anything else we can do to make these interesting? Because if there is, it's going to have to wait. Because, my friends, that is going to be all for today's episode. What did we do? We added Velociraptors over here in the old park area. And the uh, Gyrosphere attraction is officially 
open and we as a park are permanently open for business things are looking good here on isla nublar as we continue to build our park hey everybody thanks for hanging out with me for this let's play if you like this video well if you like this content like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment tell me about your adventures in jurassic world evolution and i'll see you next time i'm commander exorcist take care fly safe and i'll see you out there Good night, everybody.